In today's video, we're going to be looking at whether or not the French Bulldog likes swimming. Welcome back to the Fenrir French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog. Then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise the perfect French Bulldog. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this is a channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then let's get into to today's video where we'll be looking at whether or not the Frenchie likes to swim. In this video we'll be focusing on the Frenchie and whether or not they like swimming but let's just look at dogs in general to begin with. Dogs are excellent and complex animals, meaning that they're all different and all have their own personalities. I don't think it's too brave of me to say that you won't find any two exactly the same. And so regardless of the breed, there are many contributing factors to their ability and likeness to the water. Some breeds will be more eager than others to go for a swim, but that can be because of their breed history, training, socialization, or even just the dog's own personality. We'll look at some of the main reasons why swimming can be good or not not and summarise the Frenchie as a breed at the end. The French Bulldog was popular in the lace making industry hub of Nottingham around 150 years ago. They came from old fighting bulldogs but they were made smaller and gentler to become extremely popular companion animals. They're compact robust little dogs made for careering about after their owners in good natured play and it was from here that this loyal little dog was taken over to France with workers. Their popularity travelled from Normandy to Paris and continued to grow. In France, they became known as the Bulldog Francais. These lively little dogs made their way into all walks of Parisian life, from cafe owners and rag traders to ladies of the night. The French then became guardians of the breed and cultivated the compact body and straightened legs whilst ridding them of their underbite of the old English Bulldog. But they have always excelled as companion animals. They've never returned to the fighting or bull baiting of their ancestors, and they've always kept their feet firmly on solid ground. There's no historical note that these dogs have ever been used for anything that exclusively included a talent for swimming. They've always been popular companions, but not so much workers, and so they have a good level of intelligence, but no true ability to excel in any particular physical activity. So with that, let's look into the French Bulldog's ability to swim. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know that we have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. It's where I've boiled down and condensed all of my skill set, experience and knowledge in raising perfect puppies into this mini course. Like I say, it is completely free. If you are interested in checking it out or just want some more information, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you are interested, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. So to put it politely, Frenchies aren't built for swimming. These are compact dogs that are particularly top heavy with an addition of a flat face. A French bulldog plus a large body of water isn't the best match. Because of their physicality, they will find it difficult to be able to tilt their head upwards to keep their noses above the waterline. And for a brachycephalic breed, inhaling water can risk asphyxiation pneumonia, which is a serious medical condition. But it isn't a hard and fast rule that no French bulldog can swim. Younger, slimmer and more streamlined Frenchies will be able to swim for a period due to their added mobility. However, never let any French Bulldog be around a large body of water unassisted. If you find yourself with a Frenchie that happens to love a splash about with the family, keep the water shallow. Invest in a paddling pool for them to enjoy in the warmer months. But if you take a family holiday and happen to be relaxing by the pool, buying a live vest for them is a responsible expense. And even with a life vest, be sure to be in the water with them as they'll desperately want to show off their doggy paddle. It's said that if a Frenchie happens to start sinking, they don't have the ability to swim back up again and will just sink all the way. Now I'm not saying any of this to scare you. Now I'm not saying any of this to scare you. But we would be doing potential French Bulldog owners an injustice not to make you aware of these risks. So let's do a quick recap. Historically, these are very loyal little companion dogs and are fiercely loyal to their owners. Regardless of what walk of life they find themselves in, they're happiest when spending time with their owners, but they've never been known to have cultivated any talent for swimming. Frenchies just aren't built to be in large bodies of water. They're unable to keep their heads above water due to their compact body and flattened muzzle. 
Now, while some Frenchies may want to have a paddle with their families in the warmer months, a paddling pool is the best way to let them enjoy the water. And also invest in a life vest and always, always keep them supervised if you find yourselves around any water deeper than knee level. It's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to the dog's safety. If they enjoy the water, paddling can be great fun and can keep them cool in the summer months, but only let them practice their doggy paddle with a vest and under close supervision. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated French Bulldog videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog Show.